it all to the cross. Do me a favor. Just look around in the house. Just look around. This is not even a portion of what the blood saved. Can you think about how many people are in the world? How many people have lived and died? And how many people are living now? And how many people are going to be born? Jesus has died for all of our sins. That has to be some powerful blood. Resolve can't get out stains like this. Tell somebody, I know it was the blood. One day when I was lost, he died up on the cross. And here's what I like, it reaches to the highest mountain. It flows to the lowest valley. It's the blood that gives me strength from day to day and it'll never lose his power shake your neighbor's hand and shout neighbor i thank god for the blood it's the blood that kept me in my right mind it's the blood that washed over my family it's the blood that healed my body it's the blood that gives me a job to go to on monday morning i thank god for the blood oh it's the blood The slate has been wiped clean. Whew. The accusations are expunged. But not only are the accusations expunged, but number two, the attorney is experienced. Watch this. That old arrest warrant is canceled if you were to get in trouble you don't want just any attorney defending you you want an attorney that is experienced but not only just experienced but you want an attorney that has a good track record you want an attorney that has worn some cases let me tell you can I pull up the resume of Jesus Christ <laughs> he was born in Bethlehem of Judea came down through 40 and two burning generations wrapped in swallowing clothing laid in a manger because there was no room for him in the end 12 years old he was in the temple preaching and teaching to the lawyers and the doctors and they stood up and said wait a minute who is this little boy that's talking profound like this how old are you he says well it depends on what side you ask have I gotten any help on my mama's side I'm 12 years old but on my daddy's side I always have been and I always will be. On my mama's side, I eat bread. But on my daddy's side, I'm the living bread. On my mama's side, I'm the, I am the I drink water. But on my daddy's side, I'm the living water. On my mama's side, I walk under the sun. But on my daddy's side, I help hang the moon, the stars, and the sun. If you don't believe me, ask the King Nebuchadnezzar. He'll tell you that he can defend. You know when the three Hebrew boys were in the fiery furnace. Can I get some help in here? King Nebuchadnezzar told him, he says, you're not worshiping me. Here's what he does. Throws them in the fiery furnace. King Nebuchadnezzar goes to sleep, gets him a good night rest. Gets up early in the morning, cuts on his Keurig. Gets him some coffee, goes downstairs, and he sees something strange. He sees four men. 
He says, wait a minute, I thought we'd put three in. He says, I put four, I look and I see four. He says, and the fourth one looks like the son of man. The three Hebrews boys will tell you that God has won some cases. Jesus won the case against the Pharisees when he defended the woman caught in adultery. They saw this woman, they brought her before the Pharisees and they were about to stone her. But Jesus says, wait a minute. Before you throw some stones, look at them same dirty hands that's about to throw some stones. Tell somebody, look at your own hands, look at your own hands, look at your own hands. And he begins to write down, and I believe in, in the book of Mason chapter 1 verse 1, yes sir, I said it, that he wrote the sins of people. Tell somebody, you better watch the stones you throw because God knows what your hand. God, help my God a witness. Jesus has won some cases. But maybe you don't have time to search scripture. There's somebody on your road that can testify Jesus has won some cases. Let me do a house check. House check, one, two, one, two. Is there anybody that can testify you've been sick? But he won your case. You're healed. Is there anybody that can testify I've been broke, but he won my case. He supplied all my needs. Is there anybody in the building that can testify I've had people walk out of my life, but he won my case. I'm better now than when I was with them. As a matter of fact, back then they didn't want me. Now I'm hot. They all on me. Have I gotten the help in the building? High five your neighbor. Say, neighbor, I thank God that he's won every case. I'm about to shut it down. The accusations are expunged. The attorney is experienced. But watch this. The authorities have no evidence. The authorities have no evidence. Here's, here's what they did. Jesus says, even though you've sinned, after all you've messed up, I'll take your sins, hurl it in the sea of forgiveness, and people can never fish it up because I put a sign that says no fishing allowed. He's the only person that has the key to the evidence room. Let me tell you, there are some people that want to go in the evidence room and pull your record. There are some people that want to tell you what you used to do, where you used to go. They want to call you by your street name, but the next time they call, want to call you Pookie Ray Ray and Junebug, tell them, no, that's in the evidence room and whom the sun sets free. It's truly free indeed. High five your neighbor and say, neighbor, I thank God I'm free. Here it is. Nailed it to the cross. Every time when they nailed his hands, it was for our sins. They nailed his side. It was for our sins. When they nailed his feet, it was for our sins. I like how Isaiah puts it. Isaiah puts it like this, but he was wounded. I'm on the runway now. For our transgressions. Bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace. It was upon him. I feel old school today. And with his stripes, we are healed. He says, we're all like sheep who have gone astray and have been lost. 
That means we've all got away from the Lord. We wanted to do what we wanted to do. We wanted to do our own thing. But uh, he was beaten and he was tortured. But he did not say a word. I like the way the old church was saying. They would say he didn't say a mumbling word. Have I gotten any help in here? Can't you see Jesus on the cross? Can't you see them marching him from judgment hall to judgment hall? Can't you see them? Uh, trying him uh, all night long they put nails in his hand they put nails in his feet they put nails in his side thorns on his head but they began to lift him up and I gotta tell you that that's when they messed up was when they lifted him up because I heard him say that if I be lifted up from the earth, I'll draw all men under me. Is there anybody here that can testify? They hung him high, they stretched him wide, they hung his head in the locks of his shoulders he died do you know he died I've been trying to get it all day he died to the moon dripped away in blood he died to the sun refused to shine he died to the stars fell from the sockets he died to the earth reeled and rocked like a drunk man oh he died to one centurion soldier said surely surely this must be the son of God he died 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 they took him off the cross they laid him can I tell the story they laid him in Joseph's borrowed too he lay there all Friday he lay there all Saturday morning he lay there all night Saturday but grab your name by the hand look your neighbor in the eye and shout neighbor that's not how the story tell him early Shout early, 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 shout early. Sunday morning he got up with all power in his hand ain't he alright ain't he alright can you help me shout yes shout yes can wash away my sins nothing but the blood of Jesus what can make me whole again nothing but the blood of Jesus. I feel primitive Baptist now. There is a fountain it's filled I done preached my own self happy it's filled with blood it's drawn from Emmanuel's veins sinners plunge beneath the flood and lose all thy guilt and stain grab your neighbor by the hand, look that neighbor in the eye. Hold the hand like you've been born again. Hold the hand like you've been washed in the blood of the Lamb. Hold the hand like you know he died for you. And shout, neighbor, I thank God for the blood. I thank God. 
I need to tell somebody you may have lost some stuff you may have lost some stuff the enemy may have lost some stuff from you but can I tell you that with every crucifixion Friday there comes a resurrection Sunday tell your neighbor God is getting ready to resurrect everything that's died in your life can you prophesy over your neighbor and tell a neighbor he's about to resurrect your finances he's about to resurrect your future he's about to resurrect your faith now can you tell him thank you shout yeah yeah ah, yeah For the blood, can I tell you one more thing about the blood? John was on the Isle of Patmos. Have I got a witness? He looked up and he saw some folk coming down. Then he looked again and he saw a number that no man could number. He asked, who are these? The angels, oh Lord, the angels said, these are they that been washed in the blood of the Lamb. Come up through hard trials, tribulations, falling down, getting up. Is there anybody here that can shout one day, since he died for me, I'll be pulling off I'll be putting on, stepping out, stepping in. Anybody here want to hear him say, well done, thy good, faithful servant, been faithful over a few things. Come on, up higher, I'll make you ruler over many when my feet strike Zion I'm going where the wicked cease from troubling weary so
come on, let's bless the Lord in this place. You know, it only takes a second to just think about what he's done for you.